Froggy Play Soccer by Jonathan London Illustrated by Frank Remkowitz Now it's time to hear the story. Click on the green arrow when you want to go to the next page. Click on me if you want the pages to turn by themselves. Froggy couldn't sleep. He looked out the window. The full moon was rising. It looked like a soccer ball. Tomorrow's the big game, he said out loud. If we beat the wild things, we win the city cup. In the morning, Froggy was bursting to go. He pulled on his underwear, zap, tugged on his soccer shorts, zip, snapped on his shin guards, snap. Wiggled on his soccer shirt, slim, pulled on his soccer socks, zip, and put on his cleats. Froggy! called his father. Froggy's father was the assistant coach. What? Let's go! We'll be late for the game! Froggy flopped outside. Flop, flop. Remember, said Froggy's dad, only the goalie can catch the ball, and you're not the goalie. Now repeat after me. Head it, boot it, knee it, shoot it, but don't use your hands. Froggy sang. Head it, boot it, knee it, shoot it, but don't use your hands. All the way to the soccer field. At the soccer field, the coach, Max's mother, said, We're a team. We're the dream team. Hooray! Screamed the dream team. <laughs> Soon, the game was on. Froggy was doing cartwheels. Froggy was picking daisies. Froggy was picking his nose. The ball bounced off his chest. He gave a mighty kick and missed the ball. Max trapped it and passed it to BJ, who slammed it right into the net. Goal! It was one to zero. Dream Team. Yes! Good play, good play. Again, the two teams faced off. The whistle blew. The Dream Team charged down the field toward the Wild Things. Froggy was tying his shoe. Froggy's dad was yelling, Defense! Defense! The ball hit Froggy in the head. Bonk! And knocked him down. He was great at defense. At halftime, the Dream Team held the lead. Now remember, said Froggy's dad, and they all chanted together.
The whistle blew and the second half started. A fly circled by. Froggy! called the coach. Go, keep it moving. What? Keep your eye on the scout! Whoop, whap. The ball smacked him in the eye. Froggy was mad now. The wild things were stampeding, and Matthew, the dream team's goalkeeper, was chasing the ball. Now the goal was unguarded. This was Froggy's chance. He leapfrogged over Travis. He leapfrogged over Matthew. He leapfrogged over the Wild Things forward who was firing the ball. And what a save! Froggy caught it right before the net. But, uh-oh. He'd used his hands. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He looked so silly, the dream team laughed. But not for long. The penalty for using his hands was a free kick at the goal for the Wild Things. The Wild Things star forward kicked and scored! Now it was a tied game. But it wasn't over yet. And when there was one minute left, the crowd went crazy. The clock was ticking. The ball was coming right toward Froggy. Froggy! yelled his dad. What? But Froggy knew what to do. He jammed his hands in his armpits. He stuffed them in his pockets. He stuck them in his mouth. Then he power kicked the ball so far down the field that it bounced over the goalie's head. Smack into the goal. Yes! The Dream Team had won the City Cup. They shouted and danced, and Froggy sang, Had it, boot it, knee it, shoot it, but don't use your hands. Except to slap high fives, slap, slap, slap. <laughs>